Hey, how's it going? So um been having problems with my uh, POV. Needs a little work. <laughs> and I don't have time to work on it right now. Um, I'll be doing that soon, but uh, need some work on the brakes. And it also needs uh, some plugs and coils. It's going to take a while to do all that. So I thought I'd uh, buy some pedals and just kind of throw them into one of my other vehicles, thinking about putting them into my Focus. So I was looking for some inexpensive pedals because the last pedal kit I bought, if I buy another one of those, it's going to be like $450. I didn't really want to move it over to this vehicle. So I thought I'd try to see if I could find the cheapest pedals I could. Um, and I found these. So this is a single pedal uh, for $73 and it costs $15 to ship it from China. Um, but it takes a couple weeks to ship it. I found another seller has the same thing. Um, in Chino, California, and I was able to get that in about a week. So uh, here it is, look, it came. <laughs> so I made a quick unboxing video. I have to apologize because when I'm showing things, it's kind of upside down, but oh well, <laughs> you do what you can. So here's the video. Uh, let me get it back to the beginning. I'll just show you me unboxing this thing. Here we go. All right. So it just comes in this little cardboard box with Chinese writing on the side because, hey, it's made in China, like a lot of other things, right? So, yeah. Um, and again, bought two of these, cost me almost $200 uh, for the two. So I'm hoping they work, but uh, I took a flyer on it to see what we got. Okay, so open this up. And here you see the pedal kit, there it is, right in all its glory. So taking it out, I noticed that it wasn't, look, there's no bubble wrap or anything in here. Um, this thing was zip tied together, but the zip tie broke in transit. <laughs> um, there's some extra stuff and it came in a plastic bag, but again, that fell apart in transit. You can see all that stuff laying in the bottom of the box. And what it came with, uh, came with this little tool kind of a wrench of some sort, a couple bolts, long bolts for some reason. And it's got a couple of these cable ties or adapters of some sort. And again, uh, this little weird adapter with an Allen head and cable tie with a bolt in it. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. And it has this brochure that's all in Chinese. See, I'm showing it to you upside down and it's so nice of me. <laughs> It's in Chinese anyways, right? There's a little QR code. I use that QR code and it turns, it brings you to some like Chinese uh, messaging device, uh, messaging app. So I don't know. Um, shows you where to put the, how to install them. Let me pause this. So you can see uh, this is the pedal. It has a cable that comes out and it hooks into the upright here. And then it just kind of sits on your floor on the passenger side, that's it. Okay. All right, so that's what it looks like on the passenger side. And then on the driver's side, you can see they bolted it to like that collar around the steering, steering column. And it's got this bracket right here that's adjustable. And there's a small pulley for the cable, okay? And then the rest of the brochure is just showing you different ways to attach the um, bracket on the driver's side, okay? I use the different um, included items to attach it to the driver's side. Okay, and there you go. And I do not know what they're saying because I don't read Chinese. <laughs> okay, so that's the brochure. Oh yeah, sorry, it's upside down. Um, just, you know, stand on your head while you watch this, I guess. <laughs> then here's the pedal itself. So it said stainless steel, but it's got this kind of like, um, just thin little layer of stainless steel sitting on top of it. Looks kind of cool. Oh, I knocked my camera out of the way when I opened up the cable, just spooled out and knocked the camera down. Um, <laughs> so here's kind of the business end of it. Uh, you've got that bracket attaches around the pedal. You can see it's adjustable. <laughs> and then you've got the bracket that attaches to the floor. That too is adjustable. So just one bolt attaches it to the floor and then you've got a pulley so that the cable comes up and 
grabs on the bracket that's attached to the pedal. Oh, I dropped the nut and I have a hard time putting it back on. <laughs> and so I'm gonna do well with this installation, you can tell already. <laughs> but yeah, so yep, adjustable. Um, my biggest fear here is with all these adjustments, if it'll just kind of shake loose and have to tighten this on a regular basis. I don't know, we'll see. And then here's the pedal unit itself. It has an Allen key kind of holding it. So it's in the down position. Um, you can see the cable just kind of detaches there. <laughs> it pops out because there's no tension on it. You know, if there's tension on it, it shouldn't do that. We'll see, uh, hopefully. And then it's got these feet. I have a hard time pulling these out. Um, I thought maybe the Allen key um, would open them, but it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't do that. So um, instead, <laughs> instead, what I'm going to do is just pull on it real hard. And yep, look, there it comes out. The foot comes out. So there it is. Uh, those are the low cost pedals. So my next video will be me trying to put these in. Um, my biggest issue is with finding a bolt that I can attach it to. Doesn't seem like it. my steering column is just stamped in. So there's no bolt sticking out. Um, there's one by the accelerator, but there's only one and I don't wanna attach uh, two brackets to one bolt. So we'll see. My thought right now is maybe if I can find some sort of like patch plate with a bunch of holes in it, and then um, maybe I can put that on that one bolt and then maybe use some sheet metal screws to attach the bottom. So we'll see. <laughs> um, now on the website, where we go, there we go. On the website, one of the pictures shows oops, this T support where you don't have to use a bolt when you're attaching it to the pedals, but I couldn't find that anywhere online. It says to contact them, but good luck with that. So they have this T support as an option, but I don't know where you buy that. This the seller didn't have that available, so. We'll see, I'll have to make my own kind of thing, I guess. Anyways, see you next time. Uh, wish me good luck on the install. When, when I get it done, I'll, I'll post another video. And then uh, if, if I'm successful, I'll post a video of me actually using it. All right, uh, see you soon, take care. <laughs>